In this video, I'm going to be showing you my top five playbooks in Madden 23. What's good, guys? My name is Cody. Just want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below if you're looking to get better at Madden. Uh, we do videos every single day trying to help people become better Madden players. And today we're taking a look at our top five offensive playbooks. Now, coming in at number five on our list as far as playbooks goes, I really like the Buccaneers playbook this year. And the reason why I like this playbook so much, especially at the start of the year, is for a couple of specific forms formations that I want to talk about. First and foremost, you cannot block your tight end as easily out of bunch anymore, which means the Y trips week could potentially be one of the best formations in the game. It comes equipped with corner strike, the play curls, um, this skinny pose from the 66 Dixie. It's also got a 5-6 trap, which will run very similar to base. It's got PA post cross shot, Y corner. It's got some really, really, really good plays in this formation alone. Not only that, but this gun box used to be called gun flip trips is one of the best man beating formations every single year you have plays like slot trail deep fork and fl drive that make this a really really good formation and also, I think as we learn how to block blitzes better, how as we learn how to um, be able to throw quickly to the flats better and just kind of take advantage of what the defense gives us, the gun spread from the Bucks playbook is actually um, really, really, really good. I ran this a lot in the beta this year and had a lot of success with this offense um, using plays like Bucks corner, flood, post trail are all really good. It has a great inside zone out of here. The smash digs, this specific corner route from smash digs is actually really good this year for being able to help you beat man to man you've got a nice little zone beater here and quick slot out so there's a lot you can do with the buccaneers gun spread not to mention i think they have the best stack y flex formation in the game now this formation is really really good for beating man to man which is definitely the meta at least at this point in the year and the beauty of this is this play fade out is a great man beater it's got quick base it's got Salem pivot with this little return route, which is really, really effective. Um, so there's a lot of things within the Buccaneers playbook that you can do. And then last but not least, I think that their gun doubles is super underrated. Um, the gun doubles out of this formation has a halfback base, an inside zone. It also has this PA read play, which is really, really, really good. Um, it's got the Y cross. It's got uh, weak flood. Another play that I really like is flinker dig out of this. And FL spot gives you these nice corner routes. But the beauty of Flinker Dig is you have this really, really effective post to be able to bomb pretty much every coverage in the game. Weak Flood as well. So a lot of really good plays from the Buccaneers playbook. That's why it is coming in at number four on our list. Or at number five on our list. Now, number four on our list is going to be, um, if I take a look here, number four playbook on our list is going to be the Rams offensive playbook. Uh, the Rams offensive playbook is a really unique playbook. The Rams and the Vikings together are very similar um, in a lot what they offer. But what makes the Rams playbook so good is it has this bunch X nasty, which is a really good formation this year because of the fact that it not only has really effective running plays, but it also is going to give you that bunch feel and it's got some really good under center pass protection concepts such as PA boot, PA boot corner post where the tight end is already blocking on the line of scrimmage and you have the play action benefit so that that's going to help you pick up different types of blitzes. Really good under center pass protection but it also comes equipped with a lot of deep post routes, deep corner routes which are good every single year. You've got this nice little crosser um, out of verticals with this deep inverted corner. There's a lot you can do with this bunch X nasty as you can see it's only found in the Rams and Vikings playbook but by and large this is a great little formation and in my opinion why you would call this playbook however there's some other really good uh, uh, formations in here as well you have single back trips with the halfback stretch um, it has a kind of a simplified version of this formation but you can go with this with a little halfback stretch uh, situation Another thing that this comes equipped with is the uh, couple different formations here we've got the tight um, the tight Y off weak, tight doubles, tight flex. This tight flex is good every single year. It's really good against man-to-man -man coverage. You have the play bench. You have the play wide receiver cross, one of the best plays in Madden history. You've got inside high-low. This little route here is really good against man-to-man. -man. 
PA post shot, one of the best plays year in and year out. So really nice little formations here out of the Rams playbook. They've also got this split wide receiver backfield, kind of a new formation you can mess around with a little bit. Um, pretty decent, especially in the red zone. And then they also have tight doubles, which is a really underrated formation, especially this year because of how good, again, man-to-man -man is. You've got these sharp corner routes from Z-Spot and Flood. You've also got this nice deep corner route if you want to flood zones. And you've got a little quick base that you could throw at them as well. So this is a really, really, really good playbook this year. And that's why it's going to come in at number four on our list. Now, number three, uh, the number three playbook on our list and whenever you're picking a playbook, it honestly does kind of depend on what your formation is that you're going to run. And the number three playbook on our list is really, really solid if you are a person that likes to run the gun bunch, but it also is solid if you're a person that likes to run compression. It's going to be the Green Bay Packers playbook. Now, the Green Bay Packers playbook is really good. It's actually a lot of pro, pro, uh, pro man players are running it right now. We released a gun bunch offensive ebook out of the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive playbook, but you could apply a lot of those concepts to the Green Bay Packers offense. If you want to get access to all of my ebooks, make sure you join our Patreon. There's a link down in the description below. You can sign up today for just 10 bucks, get you access to all of our ebooks. We've already released six offensive and defensive ebooks, and we've also released several different updates to those ebooks, which you get access to as well by becoming a Patreon member today. So if you want to sign up for that, that is going to be linked down in the description. And again, $10 will get you access to everything. But what's really good about the Packers playbook is they have a great bunch and any bunch that has corner strike this year is really good so they have corner strike they have bench pivot and they also have deep corner now deep corner is a play that we really focused on in our pittsburgh bunch the corner strike deep corner what the the one thing that this formation does not have and really the reason why i chose to break down the steelers bunch for my ebook on the bunch was they didn't have the bunch trail and this bunch trail is really, really powerful, especially against man-to-man -man and zone, but really mainly that skinny post on the left side. However, the Packers have something that the Steelers don't have, which we'll get to in just a second. But you see you have a corner strike, you have bench pivot, deep corner. So you have different people can go on corner routes, preventing the opponent from keying in on who's going to be on the corner route if you try to flood the bunch side. It also has 518 hook with little S post, really good against man-to-man. -man. And then the other thing that it has is I actually think speed digs a really underrated play, um, but it's just kind of got a really good bunch. You've got Z spot. You've got all the corner routes you can want and need. It's got this smash return with this really nice little return route, really good and effective against man man-to-man -man coverage um, and then the other thing that it has in here that really makes this format or this playbook really effective is it has the the tight offset tight end and the tight offset tight end is one of the best formations year in and year out for beating man-to-man -man coverage but it also has one of the best shotgun runs in the game the zero one trap out of gun tight offset tight end is really good especially if you're playing someone that's running the nickel 335 loop blitz this is a great little run that you can use to attack it it also has this pa seams play pa seams is super effective this year being able to attack this little quick out against man-to-man -man, and then against zone or match coverage you have this deep corner that can be really effective as well and then we have y out one of the best plays in madden history as well um, super effective year in and year out it's just a great you got high lows on both sides you can just put your running back on an in route and snap it super great little play here out of the packers so they have the tight offset tight end as well as the bunch and really that's the main reason why uh, this formation is as good as it is it also has trips tight end offset uh, and trips tight end offset has some really good runs for attacking the meta year in and year out we've got the zero the rpo trap we've got the counter we've got the inside zone we've got play action plays to to attack with trips tight end routes when we get a, a hot route master quarterback this is going to be very uh good to incorporate this formation into your offense so they just got a lot of really good concepts like that i form z close i think the best under center running formation right now with the halfback stress halfback iso these two runs and they have this little speed cut out from wide receiver curl so those are all really good plays that you can find and of course they have single back deuce close halfback wham halfback stretch to me the most important play in a deuce close and then you have some great passes to go with it so green bay packers come in at number three on our list number two playbook on our list is the new england patriots this playbook is good every single year and it did go to number two this year for me because they don't unfortunately have a slot anymore but this formation still comes equipped with a ton of potential and resources for you to attack the meta 
One of the beauties of this formation is it has the shotgun bunch, and you'll notice that it does have the corner strike play. It does have bunch trail, so we have two different corners here. Um, and then the other thing that it has this year is it actually has a C route from the bunch, which is really effective for beating man-to-man -man coverage, and it's got this nice little sharp cutting post route from Pat Sale that will beat every coverage in the game. So this is a really, really decent and solid bunch, but the thing that makes New England great is not just that they have bunch, it's not just that they have trips, it's not just just that they have U trips is that they have all three of those in one formation or in one playbook. Y off trips pads, also known as U trips. A lot of pro Madden players are running this. This is a really, really good offense this year because it is going to allow you to block your running back and your tight end. You have great little shotgun runs here. It's got great man beating routes like curl flat. Um, this PA pads cross, this little speed cut out route is really good against man to man. This, uh, this uh, PA fork play has been good against man-to-man -man year in and year out. You've got so many things that you can do with this formation. We're actually working on a U-Trips ebook right now for our Patreon members. Um, so be sure to stay tuned to the channel so that you know when that releases. Um, but again, we also have... Uh, one of the best trips tied in in the game and it has everything that you need to be successful from trips tied in including this is only found in the Patriots playbook and the Raiders playbook but the 45 quick base is the best run uh, from trips tied in and it's super effective this year against the meta so the we actually have a full ebook on trips tied in which I'm going to talk about in just a little bit uh, but this is an absolutely incredible formation year in and year out you've got great man beating routes out of PA counter go this also has some of the best pass protection in the game because you're using so much play action, uh, which does pick up blitzes better. So you have PA slot corner, PA shot wheel. Uh, Pat's YN is a great little one play touchdown against every single coverage in the game. So uh, this is just a really, really good trips tied in. And you also, like I said, can go to bunch or U trips. And like I said, I think I form Z close is the best under center running formation in the game. You've got that wide receiver curl speed out. You've got stretch. You've got 26 duo. Really, really good plays here from the Patriots playbook and it also does have um, in this for or in this playbook it also does have a fairly solid uh, shotgun doubles uh, shotgun doubles Y flex if you want to run some more spread style stuff but I love this formation just primarily because of the fact that it has bunch trips tied in and U trips which are really 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 solid formations in this year's game now, our number one playbook out uh, or number one offensive playbook in Madden 23 is going to be the Detroit Lions playbook. And this playbook got a major upgrade this year. Um, and we're just going to dive into it. It's my it was my first offensive ebook was on the Detroit Lions playbook. And we actually broke down the full trips tied in formation out of the Lions playbook. Um, if you want to get access to all of our ebooks, remember, join our Patreon down in the description. Um, and again, we get up, we give you updates to the those ebooks as well so those ebooks are always up to date as long as you are in our patreon you get access to all of that stuff so uh, if you want to check that out sign up in the description but this formation or this playbook is really really solid they have deuce close halfback wham halfback zone week and they actually have a jet sweep and these jet sweeps are really good this year and we can flip all of this stuff this deuce close is a super effective formation this year um, it's been effective every almost every year that i can remember but this year because of how effective you know those jet sweeps are this is a really good play tight y off is a great little audible down type of formation we can actually audible into this from trips tight end and we can run halfback dive halfback zone week we've also got a jet sweep out of this and a couple nice little play action plays as well but really the powerful piece of this playbook is we do have i form slot close which is similar to that i form z close we have the stretch we have a jet sweep again from this and we also have some decent passing plays but the powerhouse of this this playbook has to be their shotgun formations they literally have every good shotgun formation in the game they have shotgun bunch they have shotgun bunch tied in they have gun doubles gun tight gun trips tied in gun wide trips week we talked about a little bit earlier they even have empty tray stack and tray open two of my favorite underrated shotgun formations We'll take a look here at their bunch. Now, while it's not as good as Pittsburgh, it is still very good. You have bench pivot, bunch trail. That's important because we want to have two different corner routes. We also have the ability to have mesh posts, flood. Those are great plays. And then we also have Z-spot and go vertical, some of your standard stuff from the bunch. Uh, really decent bunch in the Lions playbook. They have bunch tight end. 
uh, which is one of the best playbook or formations year in and year out. And they actually have a really good bunch tied in. They have PA boot over X spot and mesh mesh is really good this year. They redid this corner route and made it even more effective than it has been in years past. So you have that formation as well. It has shotgun trips tied in and it has, it is the only playbook in this game that has this play right here. X spot. As you see, they're the only playbook in the game that has X spot. X spot is one of the best passing concepts this year because it's able to attack zone and man-to-man -man coverage. You also have all of the stuff that we like from the New England trips aside from halfback base. However, you do have a little RPO, a little inside zone counter, and again, you make sacrifices for X-Spot. X-Spot is super, super valuable this year. Um, that post cooks, man. Uh, you can run it as a corner or a post. The other formation that I really want to talk about is their tight. Their gun tight is probably at least a top two gun tight in the game they have everything you need to be successful they have pa slot options a great one play touchdown against most coverages they have slot post one of the best man beating plays and blitz beating plays in the game they have drive corner with that speed out route that i really like from this formation and this little rounded post that gets separation against man they have bench and bench switch they have halfback quick base mesh post or a mesh spot a lot of really good plays in their gun compression formation and then, like I said, they have a bunch of other type of formations that you can go to. This empty tray stack is really good for beating man-to-man. -man. You see they have curl switch and post wheel and fade out. So we can attack the defense in a variety of different ways. Um, and like I said, you're going to have a lot of fun beating man-to-man -man out of that. And then they have wide trips week just for fun. And we can run some different concepts from here as well. And they have a great gun doubles. Their doubles halfback week is one of the most underrated doubles in the game. You have halfback wheel, double post, corner strike you also have the ability to have like plays like y cross and sail y dig and pa read so this is a really really good playbook it's my number one formation or number one playbook in the entire game and like i said if you want to check out more uh, about how we actually broke down some of these specific ebooks make sure that you're in our patreon there's a link in the description below but that is my top five offensive playbooks for Madden 23. Thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to become better at Madden, I'd really encourage you to join our Patreon. Literally for just $10, um, you're going to get access to everything. And as long as you're, uh, as long as you stay a member, you have access to all of the updates to that. We update it all the time. I've literally updated the Patreon, I think five or six times already this week with new material, little tweaks, little things. Um, and we also, I think, released a full mini scheme out of one of my favorite defenses. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. And if you want to check out the Patreon, make sure you head down to the description below and click the link down below.